Hey, hi. Let me explain. I went to Paris. I'm back from Paris. Hello. <laughs> I'm back from Paris. Um, I do not announce when I'm going places, except to people who I can trust with that information. It's just a safety thing. So I only, my parents are the only people who knew like the exact dates. My brother, of course. Um, even other people in my immediate family were like, oh, we didn't even know that you went to Paris <laughs> because I just told my parents and my brother. But, um, and then my best friend because she is trustworthy. But yes, I went to Paris for 10 days. I'm 28 now. I turned 28 in Paris. And let me explain how it all started, right? How it all started. I made a video about this last year or two years ago. Some people thought it was ridiculous, but I'm going to explain. Once upon a time when I was 13 years old in middle school, I was in the library and I saw this book that had a picture of this girl on the cover that looked like a princess. And it was called The Royal Diaries, whatever, 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 and said the words Marie Antoinette, Austria to France, 1770, whatever, right? And I was so intrigued by this book. And I was like, okay, let me read this book. So I checked it out from my middle school library. And it was a fictional diary about a 13-year-old girl named Maria Antonia, who was a princess in Austria, who was um, basically engaged to be married to this guy named Louis from France. And it was just her being a 13-year-old, then turning 14 and feeling like I'm literally a kid and now I have to get married. Like, what does marriage mean? What does it mean to be the Dauphin of France? What does it mean to be a princess? And I was 13 at the time. And I just thought this was so fascinating that people could go through this stuff and obviously you know that like princesses and princes you know you have a very childlike rudimentary idea as a kid and then at the very end of the book they showed that while the diary was fictional these were real people and they had pictures of their portraits and basically gave a summary of what happened to these people and that was the first time that like I had really heard about Marie Antoinette ever in my life. And I was so intrigued. And I never returned that book to my middle school library and I have it upstairs. And of course, as I got older, you hear more things about France, like the fashion, Paris Fashion Week. And you have all these rappers talking about I'm in Paris and da da da, famous songs about Paris, right? And then you hear about people like Coco Chanel and all of these romanticized, I guess, historical tidbits of a place called Paris that's in Europe somewhere and you're saying to yourself well one day I want to go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower and eat a croissant and wee oui, wee oui, baguette and it was during the Tumblr era like 2012 to 2014 where the idea of I want to go to Paris was completely cemented in my mind because I followed a lot of girls who like were into like tattoos and dip dig candles funny this is if you follow me on instagram you know <laughs> the dip dig candle i'm pronouncing it wrong i'm sure but girls that were in the tumblr slash we heart it era it was paris it was la Drie. it was the eiffel tower it was dip dig candles it was it was it was a time and that was a time where i was like 16 17 18 and i was like one day there's Paris and then you hear that Paris is a place of art and whatever and that like Paris will change you right and of course I wanted to go to Paris but more importantly I wanted to go to Japan and that always took center stage in my life and loves and obsessions and as you guys know I went to Japan twice once before 2020 and then next this year I went to I went to Tokyo but I decided for my birthday I'm going to Paris I'm going to go wee wee baguette all over Paris. And <laughs> I went to Paris. I was supposed to go with two friends and <clears throat> situations happened in their own personal lives and they could not come. So I was going to go by myself anyways. And of course, the rioting happened, the George Floyd part two, basically. And I was like, I'm still going. I'm, no one's going to stop me because people were canceling their trips. Everyone was like, to me, don't go. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going, I'm definitely going. So I went. And this is how my trip was. Welcome to To Me in Paris, season one. And I'm calling it season one because I'm going to go back to Paris sooner than later. And it is going to be a surprise when I'm back in Paris. And why? 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 
why not just when but the reason why i'm going back to paris is also a surprise you'll just see me there just like you'll see me in every other place because um i found out the funny way the thing is if you guys don't follow me out on instagram you've missed out okay you've literally missed out on so much that's happened recently within the past not just 24 hours or 48 hours but the past two weeks, three weeks, whatever. My life is really on Instagram. Like, this is just... I'm sorry. So, follow me on Instagram. Go to the little Paris highlight. And just click through everything. And you will know exactly what has been going on in my life recently. Okay? So, <laughs> welcome to To Me in Paris, Season 1. I hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone, I'm in Paris. <laughs> I'm in Paris, that sounds, still sounds weird to say, to me is in Paris, but yes, I made it. Um, I am laying in bed until right now. I'm gonna take a little walk. I got here at one something and it was just a long process to get here. But anyways, I'm in my hotel. I'm gonna take a little walk because I'm going out for dinner, but I want to walk the area first just to like get my surroundings and like not feel lost when i go out for dinner i'm going to a bit of a fancy place so i'm gonna be dressing up so i'm gonna just wear my casual clothes to go on this brief walk this 10 minute literal 10 minute walk and then come back so i can say okay i saw the place i know how to get there you know i'm that type of person i'm in paris <laughs> i've been wanting to go here for so long and now i'm here so Tumi was in Tokyo and now Tumi's in Paris. Let's start the show, kids. Mm -hmm. 